Mark would have come a long way in their short relationship. When she finally agreed to date him, she exceeded every quality everyone had always told her about. So much so that he had told his friends and family he believed he found his soulmate. For Sarah, she was a bit hesitant at the thought of dating a younger guy. <laughs> but as they continued to date, and their relationship grew, it was really Marco's confidence in the two of them that made her fall for him. She could feel that he was truly in love with her. They were not just words that he expressed, but an intangible feeling that he had for Sarah that she found just irresistible. Since the day we met, I knew it would be somebody special in my life. But I didn't realize the extent of it. Little did I know, that in just a short time, I would be falling completely in love with him. You have had complete confidence in us since the very beginning. You knew we'd be married one day. And I just thought, this guy's crazy. But you reassured me in so many ways. Not only with words, with constant action. I realized through all the good and bad times that my love for you is completely unconditional. I'm so happy to be marrying you on this day because I cannot imagine going through life without you. I promise to continue to be by your side, to support you, and to love you, to be your best friend every minute every hour of every day of the rest of our lives. Sarah? <laughs> <clears throat> to me, our love is like an ember. It glows hot and is the foundation of our bond. This ember is the heart of that fire and passion that exists between us. We have had our flare-ups, but like you always say, I know how to bring it back down. <laughs> back to that ember glow. I have learned being with you. <clears throat> it's not about what I say, but the little things I do. <clears throat> After you come home <clears throat> from your typical 12-hour day, <sighs> getting that bathtub ready for you, <clears throat> knowing you'll be so relaxed, is the best and warmest feelings of my day. On sick days, I'll always have the chamomile tea with the honey, <laughs> not the green tea, I promise to be as persistent as that ember and to keep making fire. Not literally though, because I'm not very good at making fires. <coughs> but if I needed to, for us, I promise I'll always give you my everything. Everything I have. With the commitment, care, and devotion you so richly deserve. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to all for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Marco and Sarah Pegg. Give it now, Mr. Bryant.